Hi there and welcome back to the Great Whale Road. We've completed our yearly planning with a focus on food and trade. So uh, we'll see what we get there. We've already upgraded our warfare though because it was possible. So uh, not bad, right? Not bad. Oh, let's continue to the next year. Winter is coming, has arrived. The weather on land is mild enough, but the whole whale road turns into an angry place in the winter. And a very quick one. So winter results. We have got a lot of meat, pelts, salt, copper, reliquaries, all kinds of things like that. As you can see here, we have gained some population. Thankfully, we have made... Uh, a lot of food, which is always good to have. Happiness bonus oh, isn't that good. Warfare isn't that good, but it's not terrible also. Diplomacy and craftsmanship are pretty good. Food production is good. Food consumption. Hmm. In the winter, it's always like a difference, but... It will go away. It will be better. And we've got traditions, warfare, and the diplomacy. Brought us quite a lot of goods produced, and the craftsmanship brought us even better food. So let's go next and look at the home settlement. No, we want to now look at the warband. We have... We've got another heavy here, and a sold, a heavy, and a sold, and a heavy. There are two more other classes that we'll get in time, and we'll be happy to adopt them too. Let's look at our settlement anymore. There's a blacksmith where you can buy upgrades for your people. I like a thick warrior code. That would be quite good to have. Then something like that. Angans for the ranged class. Uh, Hornbori's armor seems also to be quite good, but it's only for support class. Um, as is these bows. We could go for nice spares, but we don't have spares available here, it's except for the balanced ash war spare. That would be quite good, but we're not going for it. Why, you ask? Because, yeah, we want to concentrate on the upgrades first. And maybe we can pick up something like while we're traveling. And where are we traveling? We'll find out in the journal. We got a quest. Silent sister. Summer has begun and the marketplace is thriving. Yet you have neither seen nor heard from the traders of Whitla. Whitla is your most steadfast ally. Your mother was born there and left only to marry your father part of a trade agreement. Each summer, Whitler's chieftain sends greetings, traders and goods to Duvenburg. Wana urges you to investigate. Whitler's friendship is your lifeblood, and without her, you could lose much of your northern trade and protection. Travel to Whitler. Yes, of course, we'll travel to Whitler. At the Warriors, we want a nice mix here. Uh, we want Wana, because I like Wana. And we bought the Gordy. We got an assault and two heavies. Maybe we should mix up more with another assault guy. It's got firm. It's got ship storage. Let's see. Summer has begun and the marketplace is thriving. Yes, that was the quest. And what shall we take with us? So, salt we need to upgrade. Yeah, that's actually a game. You can also, like, see in the in the storage menu what value these things have but we're now concentrating on keeping the things we need to upgrade and there's some things we don't need to upgrade which is for example glass so we'll take the glass with us we also don't need spices which we'll take with us then we need some food with us we'll quite take a lot of food with us but we'll i think we'll do that later when we know we don't need that much food. So. 
Hmm. We need some tools to repair the ship if needed. Let's take like five tools with us. Will be good enough. Then reliquaries. Take gods or saints with you on a journey or just keep them at home for a blessing. We'll just take one with us. Livestock we'll leave at home because we need that to uh, upgrade maybe. And then we've got dyes. We can sell dyes. Dyes aren't needed. And let's see. Crystals also aren't needed for upgrades. So we'll just... Jewelry or healing amulets. Mm, no. Honey is the same. We can sell the honey. Uh, copper we'll want to keep. And mead we want to keep as well. So that's what we took along. And the rest will be food. You can sell food quite quite well too. So let's confirm. Begin our journey to Whitler. Exciting. Let's see what we'll see. What we'll find out. It's a long and treacherous journey to Whitler, but you must know why you have not heard from a chieftain. Whitler could have been attacked by its northern neighbors, the Danes, or the double dealing Saxons. Wana has your war been convinced that you must travel north. So there we are sailing. You spot a shipwreck on the coast. The wood from the ship doesn't look rotten. It must be recent. What should the crew do? Search for survivors. Swim across and search the boat. Don't bother. They belong to Ran now. Ah, uh, God. Hmm, but I still want to look for survivors. Row closer. Search for survivors. You don't find survivors, but you find some of their, their purses. Well, that's second best. It's 20 silver isn't too bad. Minus four tools, though. What happened there? And we're going forward through the days. We can go to Andu Werpum. Which is Antwerp. Quite a big city. Walls of stone. And from the flag you can see where it belongs to. I think red belongs, I don't know, to the to the Danes maybe. Hrodwad heads to the Mead Hall to try to speak with the locals. Despite living in Duvenburg, this is the first time feasting with foreign folk. Underwerp must be Frisian too, yes. About three mile wise later, he's thrown out of the hall. He said the wrong thing. Thing. Is this Hrodward's first time off the farm? Nothing good punch can't fix. Well, uh, we'll ask what he said and try to give him advice. Hrodward says he asked about local marriage customs, but the way he said it, it sounded like he was calling all the local women goat faced. He's embarrassed. But he wants to try his hand at diplomacy again. He says he's learned from his mistake. Oh god. Okay. Let's try it. But first we want to go to the trader and see what we can sell there. Glass wouldn't be bad. Really query you want, want to keep. I think the dyes are good here. And we'll note down what prices we get here in Underwerpum, because that's what you should do if you want to plan accordingly. You will go to these um, settlements again and again, and so if you want to really have a good trade, you should screenshot it or note it down. We're just going to note it down. Uh, so food is cheap here, because I can comment them that, that on that. and. Uh, you shouldn't sell your food here because, yeah, you won't get much f from it. Spices are the same. You can get much better um, for spices. The tools are at an okay price. We're just going to note down that they cost 13. You could sell them here. Then the ceramics is actually, they. you could even buy there. At 5, this is quite very good. Reliquary is very high price. 160 or respectively 128 is a very good price. Uh, 
and there's also wood for tin which is moderate enough and rope for seven rope is at a really good price and we need a lot of rope so we might buy the rope at least for the ship Let's see yeah we need a lot of rope let's just take all the all the rope that we can get with us and wood is also something we need so we can we could take wood and sell some food like 40 of that food are superfluous at least and yeah there's that thing so we have wood for 10 we have rope for seven and we have the dies for 25 or for 20 to sell that's a good price and we've got of course jewelry which is i think also relatively cheap but we cannot afford that right now We'll go take the rope with us and sell them all the dyes. And what else should we do there? Hmm. I mean, tools are nice, but we we have tools. We could buy the wood. Let's confirm the trading. I think we're okay here. We could go for some more stuff, but it would be hunting. Hunting is really good. At least if you go once. If you go twice, then the expected results go down by a lot. I will stay for one night here and go hunting. And we've got a lot. A pelt. And 28 food. What? Well then, let's take the eight food and be happy about it. And we shall leave this place. Mm, but not before... Looking at the blacksmith. Coat with chainmail. Oh, can we reach the 740 somehow? But yeah, sometimes you have really special items and you should buy them. Coat with chainmail is extremely good, so we would need 250 for that. Oh, can we reach that? Maybe if we sell the reliquary. Maybe then, then the crystals. And I mean, we would like to keep the pelts, but if it's needed, we'll sell. Mm, the honey we can, we can sell too. That is okay. The spices and the glass are also not needed. And can we get more somehow? I mean... Mm, well, I don't think so. We'll just confirm for now. And we'll go for another hunting party. Bloodsuckers. We're looking for some prey to hunt. The party encounters a herd of most healthy looking deer. Smooth fur and strong antlers. The party cross a march to reach the deer, they get scared and run off. Now the party is all covered in leeches and without prey. Um, rip off the leeches? No. Let the leeches fall down after they've feasted on your blood. You all feel a little lightheaded, but you can continue hunting. 
And we get a lot of food. Let's take the pills. Continue and ooh, we don't need much more. We don't need much more. Let's let's see. Let's find out. What can we sell? We could sell some food indeed. Hmm. Twenty one, twenty three. Wait. Wait, what? All right. Uh, I think we'll just look for that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. And we'll buy that coat in the next episode for the 750. And we've decided what to sell for it. Have a good time until next time. And happy gaming.